The Curve IK Solver is a powerful new tool. It allows animators to create smooth, flowing deformations ideal for bendy limbs, tails, tentacles, and toony characters. Unlike traditional spline setups that rely on external spline objects and numerous connections, the Curve IK Solver simplifies the process. It allows the creation of a full setup ready for animation with just a click of a button. To start using the Curve IK Solver, we're going to use this chain of bones. Let's select the first bone, go to the animation menu, IK Solvers, Curve IK Solver, and select the last bone. The Curve IK Solver dialog box is displayed, and here we can define the main parameters of our rig. We can set the number of control helpers here. Those are the main controls that you can use to deform the curve and animate the rig. Here we can set the, the type of the interpolation used in the curve if we want a smooth curve or corner edges, for example, or if we want to control the tangents of the main points, we can select Bezier or Bezier corner. Here with this checkbox, we can create extra control helpers for controlling each bone independently. And finally here, we can actually change the number of bones that the chain originally has in case we want to increase the number of bones without doing it manually. For now, let's use this configuration. Three control points, Bezier corner type, bone controls, and let's change the number of bones to 20. And let's click on OK. And just like that, we have all the bones and controls ready for animation. Here you can see how I can use these main helpers for controlling the curve shape. I can rotate them, and it will also affect the bones rotation. This also works with scaling, as you can see here. I can use these blue helpers for moving the bones independently. And here I can use these ones for controlling the tangents of the curves. All of this without using any splines, modifiers, or other unnecessary elements, only these objects and animation controllers. Very simple and fast. This helper here is called Curve IK Chain, and we can use it to access the main parameters of the solver in the motion panel. With these parameters here, we can control the main behavior of the rig. We can slide the chain, we can rotate it, twist it, stretch it, or we can set this auto stretch parameter to zero if we want the chain to always keep the same length. We can use squash or set this backwards parameter to 100 if we want the chain to stick to the end of the curve or we can also set auto stretch to 100 and slide joints to zero if we want the bones to stick even more to the control helpers. Now here we have these extra wave parameters, very useful to make tentacle rigs and elements of similar behavior. We can play around with these parameters like this, for example. In the Curve IK options, we can control how the bones transformations are set up in order for them to follow the curve. Here in Curve IK points, we can add or remove the helpers that are used to control the curve, as well as the interpolation and the helpers that are used to control the tangents of the curve. This Curve IK solver is also used extensively with the Smart Anim rig system. Let's create a Smart Anim biped rig to see how it works. Here we can see how it's used in order to build this IK spine setup. You can look and play around with this if you want to find out more how this kind of setups are done. It is also used in other parts like the twist bones, as we can see here. Um, it is used in the tail, ears, and even in the face rig. You can feel inspired by all of these automatic setups in case you want to build your own custom rig. Experiment, innovate, and let your imagination guide you. See you next time and happy animating.